Hey guys, quick back in Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about RAPD, Random Amplification of Polymorphic DNA. As the name suggests, this technique involves random amplification of DNA using random primers. The genomic DNA is first isolated and subjected to PCR amplification. The PCR amplification is done using short stretches of random primers. These primers are about 8 to 10 nucleotides long and binds to DNA at random location. Once the PCR is complete, the PCR amplicons are separated by agarose gel electrophoresis. Now, if the genomic DNA samples have variation, then RAPD gel will show difference in the band pattern. Because of mutations, if the primer fails to bind particular site, then there will be an absence of particular band. Insertion of few nucleotides will show an increase in the band size, while deletion of few nucleotides will show decrease in the band size. Drawbacks One of the drawbacks of RAPD is that random primers can amplify many fragments of the genomic DNA. Hence, bands obtained are closely spaced and difficult to analyze.